In this video, let's see the first numerical problem based on the topic of differentiation of infinite series. In the previous video, we have seen the overview of this topic. This video is dedicated to question number one on this topic. The question is what? Let's see if y is equal to x raised to the power x raised to the power x and so on infinite times find dy by dx. And the question has been asked in some previous board examination in the year 2001 set C. Now you see this question. This question is not x raised to the power x. Had y been, had y been x raised to the power x, easily we would have solved it. How? We would have taken log y is equal to x log x and then differentiating them, these terms. And we would have got the answer as we have seen in the previous topic of logarithmic differentiation. This time the question is a bit different. It does not say x raised to the power x only, rather infinite times x raised to the power x. Then how to do it? We would be using the knowledge we started in the previous video that if from an infinite series, a huge series, a term is taken out, a term is removed, the whole series remains still unaffected. So here you see that y is actually equal to x raised to the power x raised to the power x many a times. But what we can do is we can take out one thing out of it. If x raised to the power repeated times x is y, what I can say here, I write the heading solution and then let you know and let's see whether you understand it or not. y is equal to something called as this. Can we also not write because of that same knowledge of removal of one term from an infinite series as x raised to the power x raised to the power x as only x raised to the power something which is y because too many repeated times x raised to the power x is actually equal to y only. So if you take out 1 and you just write it x raised to the power y, right? Now, now it has become similar to somewhat like this question. Taking log both sides, I have log y is equal to y log x. Since log x raised to the power y, we know that power formula of log, something when the power comes outside. Now what you can do is differentiating both sides. So I write differentiating, differentiating both sides. When you differentiate both sides, what happens? Let's see, you have to differentiate with respect to what? Because you have to find dy by dx, so differentiate with respect to x only. So it is 1 by y because log differentiation is 1 by something. dy by dx is equal to here you have two terms. Let's take the product rule. First term as it is differentiation of the second plus second term as it is differentiation of the first. You see that y's differentiation is dy by dx. You have to find out dy by dx. Let's take out dy by dx common dy by dx 1 by y minus log x is equal to y upon x. This is how we solve it. Now it's very easy, nothing has to be done, you have to just simply solve it. So let's write it here. What is my value of dy by dx? My value of dy by dx finally is the answer and that is equal to y upon x from this side and from here it is what? 1 minus y log x upon y. So it is 1 minus y log x upon y that means 1 more y. Now what is the value of y into y? It is nothing but y square upon x 1 minus y log x and that is my answer of dy by dx. Now you see that this type of questions are very easy. One layman method, one rule following every question Take out one term and you see that from a huge infinite series, it does not affect it. And that gives me the answer of this question which was asked in the year 2001.